captains for St. Thomas, Apostle. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endures forever. Who only does great things, for his mercy endures forever. Who remembered us in our lowest state, for his mercy endures forever. And delivered us from our enemies, for his mercy endures forever. Who gives food to all creatures, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven, for his mercy endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God of everlasting love, through your word you made all things in heaven and on earth. You have opened to us the path from death to life. Listen to the song of the universe, the hymn of resurrection, sung by your church, 
and give us your blessing through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In 177, verse 1, 6, and then 3. By all your saints in warfare, for all your saints at rest, your holy name, O Jesus, forevermore be blessed. For you have won the battle that they might wear the crown, and now they shine in glory reflected from your throne. All praise for your apostle who short lived out things prove. Your perfect twofold nature all and all your depths of love. We who await your coming desire your peace, O Lord. Grant us true faith to know you made flesh, yet God and Lord. Then let us praise the Father and worship God the Son and sing to God the Spirit eternal three in one till all the ransom number fall down before the throne ascribing power and glory and praise to God alone. A reading from Judges, the sixth chapter. Then Gideon said to God, If you will save Israel by my hand, as you have said, behold, I am laying a fleece of wool on the threshing floor. If there is dew on the fleece alone, and it is dry on all the ground, then I shall know that you will save Israel by my hand, as you have said. And it was so. When he rose early next morning and squeezed the fleece, he wrung out enough dew from the fleece to fill a bowl with water. Then Gideon said to God, Let not your anger burn against me. Let me speak just once more. Please let me test just once more with the fleece. Please let it be dry on the fleece alone. And on all the ground, let there be dew. And God did so that night, and it was dry on the fleece only. And on all the ground, there was dew. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, the fourth chapter. And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, 
so that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by human cunning, by craftiness in deceitful schemes. Rather, speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped, when each part is working properly, makes the body grow so that it builds itself up in love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior. Born of the house of his servant David, <clears throat> through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Almighty and ever-living God, you have given great and precious promises to those who believe. Grant us that perfect faith which overcomes all doubts. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come. Take away the hindrance of our sins and make us ready for the celebration of your birth, that we may receive you in joy and serve you always. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome in adversity, and in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose.
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in His peace. Amen.